Hi, my name is Jade. I am 18 from England and somehow I got all A stars at GCSE and A level. And just in case you don't know, A level and GCSE are basically the evil exam systems that we have in the UK. <laughs> I've always been pretty academic, I've always loved learning and kind of loved school in general, but in being academic, and in having other people know that I was academic, I think I learned to become quite obsessed with grades. If I had an end of chapter test and I didn't get the grade that I wanted, it was literally a personal failure. If a little star didn't follow that A, if it was 89% and not 90%, if my friend got two marks higher, well, I was Jade Bowler, wasn't I? and my invisible standards would not deem it a success. Though I'm so proud of all the hard work and the time and the effort and everything that went into achieving those grades, today I wanna to come at it from a new angle. Why I wish I didn't get all A stars at GCSE and A level. And just before we properly kick off into this video, I just wanna say I'm not some stupidly annoying, pretentious prick who wants to sit and boast about the fact I got my grades. That's not the point of this video, even though now that I'm recording this already, I could see how it could be taken that way, so. Hi, I'm just trying to make an artsy video to share a point that I've been thinking about for a while, so. <laughs> when you're used to only achieving the highest grade, anything else is kind of not satisfactory anymore. I entered A-level not feeling inspired, but instead I had this fear that every time I didn't understand something, every time I struggled, every time I had a mini breakdown, I was further away from achieving that highest grade that I felt like everyone kind of expected me to get. Further from maintaining a reputation which was not only cultivated for me by the internet and by peers, but also largely by myself. I literally feared the comparison that came with getting every little test grade. What did you get, Jade? Oh my god, no way. I got higher than a study tuber. <laughs> yeah, that made me feel... Great. <laughs> Being a high achiever gifts you with this reputation of easy, continual success. Kind of as though top grades are just intrinsic to you. And you not understanding something that everyone else is understanding in the lesson feels like a personal embarrassment or I don't know, it just invites loads of self-doubt, which is so stupid because not everyone understands everything straight away. Like, ah! Yeah, and just the weight of that pressure is not fun. But more than anything, achieving these grades turned me into a perfectionist. Why be happy with this grade when I can do better? I can't hand in this essay yet because it's not perfect. Maybe I should rewrite it. Maybe I should spend another 10 hours sitting here mulling over every word. That's productive, isn't it? And even now, transcending grades, perfectionism still permeates my life and it is crippling. I often put things off because it is not the perfect time. I'm not well rested enough. I'm not in the best shape. I'm not in the perfect environment. I'm rusty and I can therefore not try or procrastinate or put things off just because I want to do it so well and I don't feel like every moment is the perfect moment to do things as well as I would like to. I think I hold myself to invisible standards that I am not even conscious of and perfectionism is so crippling because perfect doesn't even exist. And this gap here, like taking a step back from education, which I value so highly, it's just been the most refreshing shift of mindset. On perfectionism, I'm learning to be content with just trying and doing my best, but most of all, just doing. <laughs> Not letting the perfectionistic overthinking stop me from just getting on with things. There is no perfect time, place, environment, etc. There is just this little thing called now. And though it was achieving the 
perfect grades that started this whole scary perfectionism thing. Of course, I don't regret getting those grades and all the hard work and effort and everything that went into them. I got all A stars at GCSE and A level, but I am not defined by this and I am definitely not perfect. And if on A level results day, one of those grades had lacked a little star, I hope I would have valued my hard work and effort the same.